What's going on guys? In today's episode of Engineer Plays Mechanic, I'm fixing some bad engineering. Today I will be installing the 034 Motorsports or 034 Motorsports MQB subframe lockout kit. What these do is these replace the factory little bushing things on the subframe bolts and actually center the subframe so that it does not shift while you are driving, going in reverse, launching, whatever. So without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. The tools you will need for this process are a lift or jack and jack stands, but a lift is recommended, a 16 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, an impact gun, and a torque wrench. In this kit that they give you, they give you two different bushings. They both have different part numbers. One is for the upper and one is for the lower. The upper is 601. 0029 and the lower is 6010027. So I will be doing this on a lift. You can do this on jack and jack stands, but I do highly recommend doing this on a lift. All right, so we're going to start by removing the two bolts that are up front on the subframe, which are both 18 millimeters. Now on to the four sixteen millimeter bolts. These ones are kind of behind some plastic. Bracket will come down, get it down together. So now that I have all of the bolts removed and the bracket set to the side, I'm going to slowly bring down the subframe. You will notice that it, it might shift a little, which is okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the little bushings here with the little lip on it on the top, which is the part number that I gave you before, and we're going to slide those in each of the four subframe bolt areas. There we go. Okay. Trickier to get to, and it slides right in just like that. It slides right in just like that. You're going to bring up your subframe with a little bit of a Shift around and make sure that all of the locking collars are going into place. The kit comes with four brand new subframe bolts. I would recommend putting a little bit of Loctite on these. Okay, so get the two front bolts in on the subframe. And that will actually align everything. And once you get those two in and aligned, then the rear bolt should be a little easier.
the subframe all aligned and back together. I'm going to install the bolts into the transmission that are removed, which may require you to push the transmission back, engine trans back by hand. Kind of are in, you're going to go around and torque them to spec. I will get you the torque specs on the screen right here. And once those are all torqued, you can put the car back on the ground and drive it around and your subframe won't shift around anymore. All right guys, so that is how you install the O34 Motorsports MQB subframe lockout kit. And I would highly recommend getting an alignment afterwards, but your subframe should not shift anymore. And if you'd like to subscribe for more mediocre content such as this, please do and take care.